What is going on guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your 27th, I think, let me check real quick, 27th Java tutorial. And in these next couple tutorials, we're going to be going over user interaction. For example, whenever the user clicks like up on their keyboard or presses escape, you want the either character to go up or quit the game or to move around or something. Or whenever they click a mouse or move it around, you want the um, person on the computer to aim a gun or something like that. In this um kind of needs user interaction for this but before we just jump right into user interaction if you haven't noticed in the last couple or pretty much all of the tutorials there is kind of this core bit of code that we need to type over and over and over again a lot of the same methods like run um the main loop the display modes and we're going to have to keep typing this code over and over again unless we make a class that stores all the core programming in methods so we can just make an abstract class and then we won't need to keep typing it over and over again because it takes up a lot of time in these tutorials so for one last time we're going to type it like I said one last time in an abstract class and that way we can just inherit from it and we won't have to cover it over and over again we can just keep learning new material so let's go ahead and do that right now so this is going to be one last um, refresher and this is what you need to put in your core um, coding class so actually make a public abstract class and name it whatever you want and name my core because then I'll know what it is private static display mode name it modes this is going to be your display modes and let me go ahead and end that right now and put new display mode and the first one will be 800 by 600 32 bit and zero refresh and that's a common not a semicolon and let's just go ahead and copy this three times and these are going to give you your display modes so this is going to be 24 and 16 and let me go ahead and copy this one and this is going to be the same thing but 640 by 480 and it's going to be 32 and of course like before 24 bit and 16 bit depending on what your graphics card is in the mood for and we need two more variables private boolean running and this is either going to be true or false true if your game is running false if it's not and that's gonna um, do the never ending loop which only ends if you call stop method but anyways protected screen manager s and there we go looks good and now we can go ahead and build our stop method just public void stop and you're gonna call this oops stop method looks good come on Haas public void can I type every word wrong wrong embarrassing public void stop and you're gonna call this whenever you want to stop your entire program and what's gonna do is take this running method which is gonna be set to true um, initially and it's gonna take it false in we're gonna have while running so it's gonna be true and this is gonna break you out of that main loop so let's go ahead and make our um, call in it and our run method so public void run and what this run method is gonna do is try to call make our catch actually it's gonna be finally so try in it and we're gonna build these methods and game loop right like that and then after it's done running both of those finally is gonna restore your screen so s dot restore screen just like that to uh, exit full screen so now we have to build, build this in it and game loop and then just two more methods that pretty much do nothing so let's go ahead and build first let's go ahead and build in it so pretty much sets to full screen and uh, does something with the variables so public void init no parameters and what this does 
is it's going to set your screen manager object. So S equals new screen manager, just like that. If I remember to put these in, and I just uh, have a little thing for putting the equal sign, just like that. So now it's uh, going to get your display mode. Set it equal to DM equals S dot find first compatible display mode of modes. Ah, I already filled it in for us. How kind. Thank you, sir. You're a gentleman and a scholar. And S dot set full screen with DM. Wow, this is a little too easy. It's filling everything in for me. That's the joy of building our methods. The same name as your variables. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and build our window object. Window W equals S get full screen window look at all this stuff just filling in for me w set font and my font's going to be new font and it's going to be let's put it arial nice and simple font plane with size of 20 nice uh viewable and go ahead and end that and now what we need to do is set background and foreground. So W dot set background right there. And we're going to set this equal to color dot green. Because it's first color I thought of. And W dot set foreground. And this is going to be color dot white. So our text is going to be white on a green screen. But not a real green screen. Just that our computer is going to look green. And now we're going to set running equal to true to begin with because we need to set it equal to something or else it won't know. So now after in it, let's just go ahead and make our main game loop if we have time. Um, main game loop and remember name it whatever you named it up here. And I'm going to name it public void game loop. I'm not going to take any parameters and this is going to pretty much keep your game running so long start time equals system dot current time in milliseconds and now long come time equals not minus equals start time and this should be capitalized of course and now let's go ahead and make our loop while so while true to begin with what's gonna happen long time Past set it equal to system dot current time milliseconds minus cumulative time and why am I getting oh right there minus embarrassing uh, time past equals that um come time plus equal time past update time and we're going to be building this update method in just a bit so that's why we're getting error so graphics to d uh, I'll just name it g equals s dot get graphics and draw g of course to draw whatever on the wow look how I spell draw that's embarrassing and when you're trying to do everything real fast g dot dispose good housekeeping and s dot update right there and now the last thing we need for now is to try to make our thread go to sleep so our, give our computer a break thread dot sleep for let's go 20 milliseconds that should be plenty of time and catch any errors but we shouldn't since our code should be good so catch exception ex and do nothing with it so now that we have all that, we just need to build an update and a draw, which we will do in the next tutorial. And everything else looks good to go. So um, in the next tutorial, we're going to be finishing up this and also going over what we actually came here for. And that's how to test keys and get user input. Because if you ever played a game without user input, it sucks. It's like reading a book, but worse. So thank you guys for watching. In the next tutorial, I promise you'll be learning something new and something very awesome. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.